This video is sponsored by Creality, providing 3D printing tools to bring your ideas to life. Hey guys, uh, another great thing that we got to do was I got to do another podcast with Two Guys Garage. Uh, it's a show that's on Motor Trend. I'll put a link down in the description. So I got to chat with Willie B, who's a good friend of mine, and uh, Kevin Bird. And it was great. I had a, a blast. We talked about the McLaren. We talked about the Lamborghini. So if you guys want to hear that podcast, uh, link will be down in the description. Go ahead and check it out, man. I, I think it was a lot of fun. Well, welcome back, guys. Uh, you can probably tell by my clothing that uh, we've uh, had a little bit of a cold snap. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I think totals were six or seven inches, but it kind of compacted down because it was pretty heavy. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, makes for a fun working environment. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I uh, got some more on the McLaren, uh, got some pieces in place and uh, made some modifications to those pieces. So we'll talk about that. And then we'll also talk about some uh, interior parts. Um, so. Stick around, let's go take a look. So, what I've been doing is I've been uh, tightening things up. So, mounting them, uh, getting them secure, and then uh, fitting everything. And I wanna do that in the plastic because, as I've said before, but um, I didn't do this on the Lamborghini and I think that was a big mistake in why I'm chasing, warping, and all sorts of distortions. I mean, that's just one of the reasons, but, uh, so this time I'm gonna get everything perfect in plastic before I even think about doing any carbon fiber. So that's what I've been doing here. I did it on the lower rocker uh, for the door as well. I'm gonna get the door all as solid as I possibly can, get it opening and closing. Um, unfortunately, because of the dihedral doors, it's a little hard with my lift, the doors won't open fully so uh <clears throat> when i do some interior work and stuff like that i'm gonna have to actually take them off also um i noticed that the doors were a little high in front so i lowered them down a little bit made new brackets for the uh fender i also printed some filler pieces in here because i have the fender coming out a little bit more which is by design because i want uh basically the wider uh, tires up front to fit into the fender. So we're making it a little bit of a wide body up front. And you can see there's even a flare in the back. It, come, it comes stock with the car. And the next thing that we've done is you saw that we printed the uh, frunk surround. So I did get that installed, got it all set up and situated, and then have been having to kind of um, figure out how we're gonna go around the uh, brake here. We also have to put in the uh, windshield wipers uh, will come up through here, so we have to bear that in mind. Um, and then filling any, any gaps that we have. So obviously this one is for the hood hinge, but I'm gonna fill it up for now so that we can have a really nice tight fit around the hood hinge when we put it in here. We also have our P1 hood. I did have to make some modifications um, to the scoops. Get this around here. I actually had to, as you can see, I had to trim them up a bit. And the reason is because it interferes a little bit with the uh, frunk surround. So let's take a look at that. So here you can see the frunk surround kind of interferes with that. Um, I'm really uh, hesitant to move this up so that it goes by the frunk surround. And the big reason for that is I would just lose so much frunk space. So I don't wanna do that. I wanna have plenty of uh, space to put stuff, but I do need some vents to go from down here through here uh, to get that arrow. So um, basically this area is gonna be blocked off and I'll just have this amount of space for the uh, air to come through, which I think is okay but you guys let me know in the comments. Again, uh, doing the sides down here. This was all lowered down. Um, 
filler here for the uh, fender. We also got, obviously, the front surround does include this piece here, which is the uh, windshield wiper tray. And then we have the windshield uh, piece right here where that's gonna be where the windshield goes. So all of that's been uh, done. And obviously there's gonna be a little bit of a fitment that needs to still be done, but nothing I can't fix with a, uh, with a uh, heat gun <laughs> and some patience. Um, so gonna do that, gonna get it all squared away. And then uh, that way we will be able to take in a OEM windshield, which is the whole idea behind all of this. Back here, I did repair uh, this part of the uh, wing so that it's no longer uh, drooping. Uh, so it's the same as this side over here. So that's all been done. I basically just cut this out with the uh, angle grinder and then uh, pinned it up this way and uh, used my uh, glue and then also some of these little buggers, these little plastic uh, welding uh, pieces, which I'm using quite a bit of now and they're working great. Next on the list is uh, this piece right here. This is the kind of the headliner for the spider and you can see there's some structure here for the um, roof, uh, which you saw last time where we got the tonneau cover all set up. And I still have to get that mechanism working so that we can make sure that the distances are gonna work out uh, perfectly. So I'm not gonna basically put anything in permanently at this point um, for many different reasons, but that's for one. Um, <clears throat> I do have this piece here, which is the kind of trim piece on the upper. Um, it basically is gonna come a little shy of the uh, uh, windshield here so I'm gonna have to make a little step down for that or some way to finish that off um, so that's something I'm gonna have to work on because there's a relatively big step here and I don't want that so maybe we fill that in a little bit I don't know we'll have to figure that out down the road oh, okay guys so yeah door cards are fitting really nice um, pretty happy with it um, obviously they should right but if you look at the 3d prints you can see the curvature is just perfect right so that's going to be the opening for the window and you can see it's bang on in line um, perfect gap there uh, between the door cards so I just have to figure out how they mount to the framework of this so we're gonna have to do some more framework in here, maybe change it a little bit, but um, you can see I can get it up to the right level and it has the right curvature. Um, so I'm really happy about that because uh, I didn't know once I got these in if we were gonna have to modify the doors, but it looks like not. So that's a good thing. And then center console, um, you can see got that uh, put in. I think next time, uh, once we are able to get this off the lift, <clears throat> I can work on the doors a little bit more. I'll have to take the doors off and then I can put the dash in. And uh, holy cow, we'll have very close to, a, I wouldn't say completed interior, but we'll be able to see what it's going to look like and maybe sit in it and, and uh, kind of soak it in a little bit. But I think the project's coming along really nice. Um, so let's take a nice surround of it.
And we've got another installment of, hey, what you printing? Uh, what we're printing here is uh, some trim pieces for the A-pillar. So you can see my machine still going at it. Man, this thing has just been such a beautiful uh, addition. It just keeps chugging away printing parts. And you've seen the results in the earlier videos. But the big thing is, is that I've already got one of the A-pillars printed. It's being glued up. Um, so look for that uh, to be test fit in the next video. Um, so that's just one of the A-pillar surrounds. So this is, this is what I've been uh, printing as well. I've got a really good model for the headlights that actually came with the model I have for the 600LT. The 3D model is what I'm talking about. And uh, it comes in the various sections. Um, so these two pieces here and maybe this piece will be done in carbon fiber or they will be finished and, and uh, painted black. So I haven't decided what we're going to do there. We'll then need a polycarbonate uh, cover or lens uh, on the top. So that I'm going to probably uh, uh, ask uh, Dario to uh, maybe help us out there um, with uh, doing that because he has a vacuum molding machine. And then uh, this guy here, these are like little lenses and shiny parts. Uh, you can see them in the picture here. And so this is gonna actually have to be clear and I can't print clear. So I can print uh, the, um, the running lights, which will go here. I could print those and do them the same way I was doing the running lights on the Lam Lamborghini, um, which is kind of a frosted white. Um, or if I want, I can try to make those clear just like these. So um, basically I'll show you how I'm going to uh, do that and make this a clear piece. And this is what uh, I'm going to attempt. So look for this in a future video. I got a silicone rubber mold making uh, kit. I got some super clear uh, epoxy resin, uh, two part. And then for uh, some of the reflectors I wanna make, I wanna see if I can make reflectors I got some uh, dye, some red dye for pigment on the clear stuff. So look for that in a future video. Well guys, uh, I hope you like uh, what you've seen so far today. Um, I think we're plodding along quite well. Um, I'm excited to try this mold making and get on the headlights and things like that. Firming up our doors, uh, which will probably be one of my um, uh, next projects out in the garage is either getting those all buttoned up, getting the car off the lift, um, maybe getting the uh, gas shocks working on the doors, uh, firming them up so that they open and close properly. I've got some strikers to uh, make sure I can latch them. And then uh, we can move on to the dash, get that the structure underneath that dash. Uh, get it fitted up really nice and uh, just keep moving forward with the project. Let me know what you guys think. I'm really excited about this. I love this project. It's coming along so quickly. Um, and so that means that uh, I can get this sucker on the road soon. I uh, still have the problem with trying to get that uh, engine started. So we got that to go. But anyway, you guys take care. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.